Ooh, you put more wood on the fire. I don't know how much longer I can, I can stay up all night. I gotta be presentable to family. You know, I gotta do the Christmas thing here shortly. So don't put too much wood on the fire on my account, Kirk. These are pretty woods, though. I like how when fresh wood is on the fire, it's cooler temperature makes better, like more variation of color in the camera. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. That's the way you like it. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, you like it. I have a cool in the gang and blondie on my morning mix lately. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I like it. One way or another, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way. I'm gonna Who's lose you. Say? I'm gonna give you the slip. Blondie. Blondie, yeah. She was a punk of her time. I hadn't realized till YouTube showed me her in action. I was like, oh damn. She's a rebel punk. In a short dress and a long jacket. You know, right? For the time. <laughs> Fucking, she was ahead of her time. Oh, wow. Pretty good. It's a cool triangle of flame, this wood pile has got going on. I like this, see? I've just very easily moved over to the e-cigarette. So it's doing doing it for you buzz-wise, huh? Not really. It's a different thing. I notice you're still smoking regular cigarettes too, but fewer of them, huh? Well, I'm, I'm making it, you gotta start somewhere. So I'm making it, I'm, I'm, I've integrated this into my life now. So you're developing so that habit step. first on top of the other one, and then you're going to yeah, try right. to wean yourself <laughs> off of, the, of this first habit by by relying more heavily on the second habit. Is that the gist of what I hear you saying? Well, I mean, you could look at it that way. I'm just, I'm just trying yeah. to understand what I, just telling you what I hear in my own words. Well... Those of us who are observing the, the, the wild kingdom of Africa um, believe that right. I mean, they, they, right? They, they're, 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 <laughs> I mean yeah, did they, you hear they, that? They the that. fucking <laughs> Omaha of shit, in Nebraska or something. <laughs> Isn't that Wild Kingdom of, was it Omaha? That doesn't even yeah. make sense now right. that I think about it. Omaha. Omaha, Nebraska. I guess they had wildness yeah. there, but. Was that the show name? Do you remember what I'm talking about? I used to watch that shit a lot. Mutual of Omaha. What, Mutual of Omaha. That's an insurance company, isn't it? That's why they're it's branding. I get it now. With the lions and the tigers and the beavers. Oh my.
Yeah, it's hard to be an environmentalist uh, these days because the, you know it just is such a it's such a tragic end for so many creatures. You know, I mean, there, there's no you know, the end for so many creatures is happening. Yeah, know, it as gets we sad. Live, yeah, as, as we are on the planet right now, more than half the species we know of have gone extinct in my lifetime, my 40 some years. It's pretty incredible. And that's just what we know of. Right, right. And, and also though, there's been other mass extinctions that we know of on this planet. And the end result of a mass extinction is a flourishing of new life, new things, right? Yeah, but that's usually by some very big cataclysmic event. Well, right. Usually usually the old and busted is out and gone, and then there's new Well, can you imagine things? us, you know, working the planet down to just, you know, a couple of hundred creature, and, you know, and mammal, mammalian creatures on the planet that we've, we've extermed, we've, we've pushed into extinction, all the rest of the, the animals, except Maybe. For, I think, I think our sci-fi worlds that we've been looking at with AI and you know, yeah, I think we could, I hope we, we don't, do but I think we we might be pushing it to a very fine line. When I look at our atmosphere, which is all that holds us currently, now if we're going to go live on Mars, then maybe we're going to figure out how to live without our atmosphere. But life as we currently know it is highly dependent on our atmosphere. And it's a thin, thin line, you know, delicate, thin line that we're fucking, we're pushing right now, so... We lose that, and we're like all the other what we call dead planets right now. And sure, evolution may, maybe some other crazy species would come along like Elon Musk is and think, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow up some sh nuclear shit on the poles, create life, and have a whole new civilization for when Earth fucks itself so hard that it needs a backup plan any second now. That could happen. But also, yeah, maybe, maybe, you know, well, I don't know. That's the exciting part. Will we make it in time? We don't know. How will we evolve? We don't know. Good to see. No. Or not, if we don't. Those two logs and the fire looks kind of like dick and balls to me right now. It could just be my dirty mind. Dick but and balls. It is. <laughs> Through this lens. Yo, it's got a, balls. It's got a dick and balls element dick going balls. on. It's kind of entertaining. What you talking about, dick and balls? It's a fiery, fiery dick, dick and, and some balls. loggish balls. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. Fire dick and log balls. <laughs>